Our search for military artifacts starts at Champion Hill. And as usual, KG and I are gonna compete to see who can come up with the best find. So I'm walking through the woods, and all of a sudden my machine goes off. Oh, there we go, right there. And you know you gotta dig, because out here, there's not any trash or garbage. It's just dead silence. This is solid as a rock. There's gonna be something here for sure. So I drop down, I start digging around, I get the clump out, and I'm locating it with the pinpointer. All of a sudden, it starts beeping, going off. I finally locate it. Oh, it's out. Oh, perfect round ball. It looks like a drop, too, because it's not smashed. It didn't hit anything. Either that or it just landed without hitting a tree or anything. Unfired ammunition isn't something you just leave on the battlefield without a good reason. I'm thinking a Confederate soldier abandoned this when he was retreating from the Union attack. The hit I got in that hole was pretty big for just a round ball. I put the pinpointer in there just to double check, and I can't believe it. Oh, there's more here. Check this out. Another round ball, except look at this one. Tiny one, large one. This is called buck and ball. A lot of times they pack two or three of these all into one shot. So you pull the trigger and you got the big one coming at you and these little ones that spray out in all directions. It's a better chance of hitting something. That means a soldier was right here and they fell out of his pouch or he just dropped them as he was hurriedly trying to load that musket again. Musket ball, buck and ball. Awesomeness right here. 